everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of lifestyle sunday i am bringing another weekly vlog for you just taking you through my week and what i'm up to today is monday so we are starting early and i'm actually on the way to the bookstore or i will be on the way to the bookstore in just a second after i finish filming this because i am needing to get the second book of the series that i am reading right now which is the invasion of the tearling i have talked about the book here and there like on instagram and a lot of people have been curious about what it was and it's honestly pretty remnant of like a hunger games-esque type of book but not Hunger Games like it is very very different it has a lot more fantasy elements and I actually am reading it with my best friend Hannah and we meet up periodically for like a book club and stuff it's really fun to get together and like talk about the book because if you didn't know I have an English degree and that is basically what I did for four years in college was read books and talk about them and also write like 20 page essays on them I don't miss that part but it is a lot of fun to read and talk about it with somebody who like knows and understands what's going on. It is time for us to read the second book and I've been looking around places where I can buy it like in town so I don't have to have it shipped here because as I've expressed I'm a little overwhelmed with boxes and packaging material so um, I'm trying to buy it in town so they didn't have it at the secondhand bookstore so I'm going now to the just general bookstore Barnes & Noble I'm sure that everybody has a Barnes & Noble and they have the second book and the third book so I'm probably just gonna buy both of them so I don't have to worry about it later and I'm also going to just have a look around because I love bookstores and I love just hanging out in them so definitely we'll be bringing you along on that little adventure and I hope that you had a beautiful weekend if you're watching this on Sunday I hope that you had a wonderful Friday and Saturday and that you are winding down today and you are ready to tackle the new week so thank you guys for clicking on this video and we're in for a wild ride <laughs> not really these videos are usually pretty relaxing so I hope you enjoy I don't know why I thought this was a good spot to stand and record this, but um, if I record over there, it's very yellow, so I need the natural light of the window, you know what I mean? Love that natural light. Um, okay, good morning. Today is Tuesday, and I am, I've got a lot of stuff to do, and so I'm starting out the day by watering my anthuriums and philodendrons in my bathroom, because it is time. So I'm just going to just put them all in the bathtub since I'm watering all of them. And I don't use tap water on them, which is unfortunate because that makes it really, like really, really easy. But I use distilled water. So basically what I do is I fill up a cup with distilled water and I just pour it over. And I just do that like a hundred times. And then all those plants are watered. So let's do that real quick and then I will be able to move on with my day and get to work. That is my morning so far. Good morning. I'm feeling really chipper despite the fact that it is very rainy outside again. It has been a very, very wet winter and I have no idea why, but... You're acting like I was gone for hours and years. Hey! <laughs> I just popped out to the store because I took all of those plants off of the shelves to water them. And my fungus gnat infestation has just gotten really bad. And admittedly, I have definitely put off taking care of it. I really should have, but I didn't think that it was this bad because I guess I wanted to ignore the fact that it was happening. Okay, hi, hi. <laughs> so anyway, um, I went out and I got some hydrogen peroxide that is usually like my favorite way to kill fungus gnats i actually made a whole video about it so i'm going to be going through a lot of the stuff that i said in that video so everybody is rub-a-dub in the tub this one where is it this oh wait no it's in the kitchen here 
not the kitchen, the sink here. This plant, it was very infected. I took it down and like 10 just plopped out or like flew out. It was really gross. So this plant is down to two leaves. But I just noticed this down here. Do you see that light green thing right there? Look at all the fungus gnats. This is disgusting. You guys are really seeing things for what they are. Um, okay, that is new growth, if I'm not mistaken. I see a tiny, tiny leaf coming out of there. And this plant has done basically nothing as I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to do anything. But these leaves are very happily holding on. And um, so that is putting out some new growth. This one is putting out some new growth. Those are some new leaves, or that is a new leaf. And that seems to be like the only growth happening for my plants from Indonesia. But to already be seeing that kind of growth, I'm shocked and I'm excited about it. So um, that's what's going on. I'm going to be mixing like part of this hydrogen peroxide into a jar of water. And water just as I normally do. And I cannot wait to hear it like crackle and pop and the sounds of all of the larvae dying because there are a lot of fungus gnats in here which is shocking to me because there's basically no soil in this mixture so they don't need soil I guess <laughs> Alrighty, everybody is back in their place. I did just a little bit of rearranging because I usually, when I take them down, I forget where they were in the first place. So, you know, I did a little bit of trimming off of this one. This Clarinervium is so beautiful. I really think that the Clarinervium is my favorite plant. Like, okay, I say that about every plant, but it really is one of my favorites. Like, look at this beautiful perfect leaf. This leaf is literally perfect. And this was on an imported plant. I cannot believe it. So anyway, I did some tackling of fungus gnats. Hopefully that will kill the larva that is there right now. And I am waiting for some sticky traps to come into the mail. And yeah, I guess that's all I have going on right now for the fungus gnat thing. So hopefully I have killed a lot of them so far that were not born yet. That's really... I don't like saying it like that. That was a nice little break from work. I need to get back to work and um, I might see you guys tonight or I might see you guys tomorrow. But either way, I hope that you have a beautiful day. Say bye, tell him bye. Oh, you're such a cute baby. You're such a cute baby. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It is Friday afternoon, night-ish. It's around five o'clock, and I'm taking Leo out for a walk before the sun sets completely. It's not cold, like, at all, and it's just a nice night to be outside. <laughs> it really makes me wish that I had a backyard because these are the kinds of days that are, like, so nice to just hang out. But instead of having a yard, we will just go on walks and walk through the back of other people's yards, I guess. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Um, sometimes in our neighborhoods we'll have these like wash things that are like overgrown with grass and stuff like that. And I like to take Leo in here because it kind of feels like a park even though it's definitely not. Like this is probably the most green that you're gonna find. <laughs> like this kind of green does not exist in Tucson. It's very funny that it's back here. So yeah, we're just trekking through here out to the other side. It's kind of a shortcut, but ouch. Leo really likes the tall grass. He likes to sniff his nose in it. Don't you, buddy? You like to put your nose in tall grass, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Nothing, just checking on what's going on. I'm just doing my little spa day. Okay. Okay, hi guys. Oh man, the lighting in here is so yellow. My apologies. But today, 
I already said it's Friday, so I just got back from the walk with Leo and I took a shower. Being that it is Friday, I decided that I'm going to treat myself to a mini spa night because those are fun and I like doing it. So last night I painted my nails. My nails were like the half pink, half light pink for a couple of days, like probably a week. But I feel like I filmed so many things last week that those nails were everywhere. So I did like, um, you can't see it because it's so yellow, but I did just like all of my pink and red tones to be Valentine's Day. And I should say my nails, I keep them very short on purpose because I don't like when I can feel the nail coming off of my skin. Does that make sense? Like if the nail comes any longer than this really, it kind of grosses me out. So I'm going to do a few things. <laughs> this is like my skincare routine, except I'm not doing a skincare routine at all. I'm just gonna time lapse my at home spa night. So I have some tweezers because my eyebrows are a little crazy. I think that since I got bangs, I don't notice it as much because it's always covered. But then when I have my hair in a towel, I'm like, oh, that's what my eyebrows look like. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a face mask and then I'm gonna do my three step skin cleansing routine, which is a very new thing to me. Up until a couple months ago, I never washed my face and I have had very clear skin for most of my life. So I think that I've just been very lucky, honestly. It's really nothing more than that. That's what I'm gonna be doing and if you would like to watch, you can. If you wanna skip, I also understand. I brought in my ring light. I think that that will just help me feel better about all of this and you can for sure see it in the reflection, but oh well. This towel is just feeling like I this is probably the most most people have seen my forehead on this channel. So this is a gel mask. I didn't realize that it would be gel, but it probably just looks like my face is wet right now. So that is my whole getting unready routine, I guess. I don't know, that's such a strange thing to say. But so I've been looking for a shampoo and conditioner and just like body wash company that has an empties program. And when I say empties program, I just mean like when you run out of the product, you send it back to them and then they will send you a new one and then they can properly recycle or reuse the bottles. And I was watching a YouTuber and she mentioned this company, it's called Plain Products, and I wanted to test it out. So this is a completely like cruelty-free, sulfate-free, color-safe, kid-safe, vegan, uh, biodegradable shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So I'm trying out a travel size of the shampoo and conditioner in the scent Citrus Lavender to see if I like it or not. And so this was my first time actually using it, so I'll check back in tomorrow to see how my hair feels. So far, it feels really good. It doesn't feel any different than what I was using before. I was using Pantene before, and I've just recently heard a lot of negative things about Pantene and how it like leaves, I don't know, just like coats and layers of stuff on top of your hair to force it to look shiny. And my hair definitely does look shiny like all the time, but if it's not, like, if it's leaving a coat of wax on my hair, I don't want that. Anyway, I wanted to try this out, and if I do end up liking it, I'll let you know. But I would recommend it so far, because it is the only shampoo and conditioner company that I know of that offers an empties program. I tend to go through a lot of shampoo and conditioner because my hair is really long and thick. So I am just have been aware of it more recently and wanted to find a different solution. So it is a bit pricey. That's the only drawback. That is the only drawback with a lot of these things. But I think that I'm willing to pay the price, at least knowing that it is like a better quality product in general as well. <sighs> with all of that being said, I'm going to hang out, watch a movie, maybe. I don't know. I'm just hanging out with Daniel and Leo. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning. It will be Saturday, so... 
who knows what the day will bring Hi, us. Hi everybody, happy Saturday. Leo and I are here. We're about to leave for his puppy class. Well, he's not, a, he's not really a puppy anymore. It is an adult dog obedience class, but we call it puppy class because he's still a baby in our hearts. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> he's been like nonstop play mode lately and it's been a little bit overwhelming. Haven't you just been a little, he's been a little playful. But today has been basically a day where we sat around and did not do much. Um, I've watched Jane the Virgin like almost half of season three. I cried for probably two hours today <laughs> in light of that because something really sad just happened and I get really emotionally invested in, in like show characters. So anyway, after we um, are finished with his obedience class, we're probably gonna get some food and then I don't know what the rest of the day will entail. Maybe something fun. Okay, so I just thought I would check in, say hello, and I will see you guys after the obedience class. Good evening, everybody. Um, I am here to report it is evening time Saturday, Becca, and we didn't do anything today. Literally nothing. You can see behind me, Jane the Virgin is still on TV. So we went to Leo's puppy class, and he did pretty good. What we're noticing is he can do a lot of things at home, but he just gets like stage fright or he gets really distracted when we go with the trainer. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't know. He gets stage fright, I think, because there were so many things that we've taught him how to do at home and then we try to show in class and he doesn't do them or he doesn't do them right but he just is so all over the place in his mind which is totally fine because he's a very very young dog he's only a little bit over a year old we are learning how to walk better on a leash and um that is something that he kind of struggles with he pulls on a leash a lot so we're just um, learning how to train him not to do that also this weekend i haven't really been on social media and I think sometimes in my mind, I just kind of give myself a social media break without even realizing or like planning because I just haven't wanted to go on Instagram or like really text or talk to a lot of people. I think I kind of just needed, sometimes I just need a weekend to do nothing. And that's definitely what this has been because a lot of weekends I do so much work for De La Plants, like all week is my day job and then on the weekends I do a lot for De La Plants and sometimes I just want to have a weekend off and so I'm really glad that I got that. Something that I noticed about last year and just like everything, I don't know, just reflecting on last year even still and it's almost February, but <laughs> I just noticed that I really worked so much, like a lot, a lot and I kind of want to give myself more of a break this year and like delegate. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that I wasn't doing more and it maybe wasn't that exciting, but this is basically just a snapshot of my life week to week. So I hope that you enjoyed nonetheless. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye, Leo. Bye. <laughs> say bye.